Good morning, Radiant Rucker Roadrunners, and welcome to another Radiant Day of Virtual School. Today is Tuesday, October 13, 2020, and it's wonderful to connect with all of you this morning. We do have some birthdays today. We want to wish a very happy, happy birthday to our pre-K teacher, Ms. Manka, and also to our fifth graders, Ariana and Liliana C. Happy, happy birthday, ladies. We hope that you enjoy your day. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you, you may be seated. All right, we're continuing to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month through this week. So Friday is Hispanic Inspiration Day and we want to see you wear your favorite Hispanic shirt. Thank you for participating. All right, some of you are going to be coming back to campus next Monday, October 19th. Those of you who are returning to campus, please make sure this week that you practice wearing your mask throughout the day. Uh, and that you practice washing your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Also practice social distancing and using no touch greetings like air hugs. Remember, as much as we all want to hug you when we come back and we wanna hug our friends, we're not able to touch each other for safety reasons. So we can use air hugs and air high fives and other greetings. Make sure you're practicing opening your own lunch containers and tying your own shoes. Congratulations again to our Roadrunners of the Week. Thank you to these teachers for nominating students and to all the other teachers for nominations. It's very difficult to choose just one per grade level. These students may come to campus on Friday between 2 and 4 to collect their prizes. All right, and we're also celebrating these boys and girls for being our weekly My On Top readers from last week. Check out those four students that are receiving this award for the second or third week in a row. Very good. All right, and here are yesterday's My On Top readers. All these boys and girls read on My On for an hour or longer yesterday. Jaslyn V, 102 minutes. Ludine L, 92 minutes. Antonio N, 86 minutes. Jenea L, 80 minutes. Alexis O, 74 minutes. Andres G, 68 minutes. And Annabelle M, 60 minutes. Nice job, boys and girls. Remember, the more we read, the more we learn. Plus, it's really fun. All right, and that brings us to our Read to Succeed Challenge, which is happening in the district now. It started in, on October 1st. So if we want to bring home those huge trophies like we did last year, then we definitely need your help. It takes every one of our Roadrunners reading on my on every day. So during your asynchronous time when your teacher is working with other students in small groups, please make sure you log on to my on and log some minutes. We are looking forward to bringing home those trophies again. Here are our top Imagine Math and Imagine Language users from last week as well. Nice work, very, very good. All right, please remind your parents to return the first day packets, those manila envelopes with all the forms. They can drop them off Monday through Friday from 7 to 4 in the gray bin on our drive on Christine Street. And also this Thursday and Friday between 8 and 10 a.m. or 2 to 4 p.m., they should come by to pick up their car and walker tags. Those will be needed in order to pick you up from school if you're returning face to face. All right, and here are some more announcements. There's that gray bin where you can turn in your forms. Thank you to all the parents who attended coffee with the principal on Friday. It was great to have you. If you were not able to attend, please make sure you watch the recording because there's a lot of important information, especially about returning those that are coming back to campus. And you can log into HISD Connect as well to complete those first day forms. The most important one we need right now is the blue socioeconomic information form. Meals are being offered now this week only on Mondays and Thursdays from 10 to 1. That's at Chavez, Bonner, and Park Place. Please stay informed with our Rucker app and contact us if you have any tech needs or you need any support. We are still enrolling. You may contact Ms. Reese in the front office if you have any friends, family members, or neighbors looking for a wonderful school. 
And Brighter Bites, thank you for those who came out yesterday to receive your fresh produce. The next distribution date will be October 26th from 2 to 4 p.m. So we will see you then. And just contact us if you have any questions or concerns. We're here to help. Thank you so much for watching. Have a radiant day.